Hey everyone, Ken Sears here, and it's time for a Sunday shave. I've got the, I think this is the last two products that I have in my possession that I haven't tried yet and uh, have been waiting to do a review on. And the after, or the shave cream, uh, I got a few requests and it wasn't I was ignoring it. It's just that I couldn't find this product in my local stores. But the uh, product is from Gillette and it's called Pure. I ended up having to buy this off eBay. But apparently, I don't know if it's in Europe, or I don't know if it's just in stores that I'm not going into, but I couldn't find this on a shelf. So uh, I'd been asked to try it and give my opinion on it, so we'll see what we could do. I'm pairing that Gillette product from today, or from, uh, what would I say, current, uh, made currently with the Gillette product that hasn't been made in many years, and this is the Gillette President in Rhodium, 1953. I got this razor off eBay, actually by mistake. What what had happened was, is I bid on some old razors, and uh, I knew the value had to be about 30, 40 bucks. The guy sent me Gillette Fat Boys, uh, just some couple of hundred dollars worth of razors and I said hey dude I, I think you sent me the wrong batch and what he had was he was offloading his grandfather's old uh, old items and he didn't realize he had sent me the wrong batch so I sent him back to him I mean come on and uh, uh, he ended up selling me sending me as a courtesy this razor now it did not look like this it was just gross it was covered with soap scum and it looked like it hadn't been cleaned in years lo and behold it was a 1953 president in rhodium so i ended up searching for a couple of months on ebay and i was able to find an empty box to uh display this with so uh, i was lucky so now i end up having a set so we're going to use uh, the gillette rhodium 1953 presidential razor and I'm twist open I'm going to use one of my from India Gillette Wilkinson sword from India that's from India that's from China they both seem to work but I think the factories in uh, India probably a lot older than the factories in China so I've been buying these for quite a while and I really like them. Nothing wrong with the other blades, but I kind of I kind of prefer the saloon packs from India. So I'm gonna load this razor blade in. Someone had said, hey man, I never see you loading the blades in. Let's see the whole procedure. So there is the uh, Gillette Wilkinson sword from India. Put it in, tighten it up got dust on it. Why don't we go? There, rinse it. So we're going to be using that today. I'm going to be using for the aftershave balm from the good folks at Bevel, a restoring balm. So we're going to see, I think this is alcohol free too. But mm, well, we'll know when I put it on. I know this is. So these are supposed to be really good for your skin. So hey, it can't hurt. And I'm going to be using for the brush today. I better get it in here quick. It's the uh, Samoog Bore Brush. I'm gonna put it into the crystal skull. I went to Home Goods. That's where I bought this from, Home Goods. And it's Halloween coming up again. Halloween crap is everywhere. But they did not have crystal skulls. They had all sorts of other skull cups, this, that, and the other. But uh, sooner or later, they're gonna have these back in stock. It's a candle holder. Sooner or later, they're gonna have those back in stock. And I'm gonna stock up on a few of them and I would have liked to have got one to, for this next giveaway I'll be doing. Uh, if I get one in between now and the time I do that giveaway, I'll, I'll include one. I'm gonna use a Captain's Choice Shave Bowl today to mix up the stuff. All right, let me set a few things aside so I don't knock them over and get started. I'm gonna wet my face a little bit. I've already had a shower this morning, but I've been out and about with my wife doing some shopping, and she goes, I'm going to home. Goes, I go, count me in. All right, pure. Let's see how this thing does. Put some in here. Boop, 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 boop. 
It's probably a brushless soap also. I'm not reading the instructions. I'm trying them as if I didn't know. Get the water off the bore. It's got a nice smell, I've got to admit. I'm not aligning myself with uh, Gillette's current politics or anything, but man, their vintage razors are still awesome. God. Well, the soap is definitely not a brushless soap. It's got a mint smell to it. Are they available where you shop? Can you go into the store? I buy pure. It's got a really nice fresh scent. I've got to admit. That's what I like to see. A soap that'll lather up immediately. Man, I'm inhaling this stuff. There we go. This is probably the third time I've used this razor. That's a bit on the aggressive side. Not as bad as the red tip. It's 10 years older than me and then some, so it's like 67 years old and it's still friggin' working. They made some good products back then, didn't they guys? I don't know if we'll be finding a sensor excelled 67 years from now, still working. Or a fusion. Thumbs up on the movie Angel Has Fallen. It was very good. Made up for that disappointing movie I watched last week, 47 meters down, uncaged. Movie was pretty darn good. I know it's a trilogy. What is it? Uh, Olympus has fallen, London has fallen, and now Angel has fallen, but it was pretty good. I saw it in the XD theater, so the digital sound, man, shook that theater with the explosions. It was pretty cool. All right, enough talking, let's not cut my neck. Turning it. All right. And that's a mildly aggressive razor, guys. And uh, yeah, the soap worked. All right. You make your own decisions whether you want to buy this stuff or not. I'm just trying it out. And like I said, I had a lot of requests for this soap. Man, it is creamy. Look at this. I think I paid eight bucks shipped, eight or 10 bucks shipped for that from eBay. I'll have to look. I'll look at what I paid right here. Smells good, very slick. When I do that, I'm trying to see if I, you know, if it's not that slick and it's not sticking to your skin, you can do that and it'd be like a squeegee. It would just wipe it right off, but this is sticking. Pretty slick. All right, man, what a find. Oh, watch check, SKX009 Seiko, the blue dial and the Pepsi bezel. Forgot to do that.
was buying too many of those watches and I ended up selling them to a couple of dudes at work. So now I had money to buy another. Ended up buying the Seiko Turtle Save the Ocean and some of the money goes to uh, the Jacques Cousteau uh, Society. So I'll have to do an unboxing on that. I haven't worn it yet. I've got it in a box. I haven't opened it yet. Someone mentioned, you've been lucky, no cuts uh, in the last few shaves, and that is true. I think those soaps I've been using helped with that. It's almost like a dry shave, but it left so much moisture in the whiskers it took it off. That says something about the soap, huh? Well, that's way better than something like this. Way better. But unfortunately, that thing's too big to bring on an airplane if you're traveling. Well, maybe they make a smaller version. I don't know. I think that's a travel one. Yeah, that's a travel one. And then I think this is discontinued. See, I've got some I just never tried. I've been asked to, but just never tried them yet. And I do believe uh, rust proof aluminum bottom. I do believe this one is discontinued. All right, bevel. Really enjoy their race. Whoops. Really enjoy their razor and their blade. And somebody asked me, where, who makes the bevel blade for them? And I, I, to be honest, I don't know. It's a very neutral scent. No, it's not. I can smell like citrus. It seems to be citrus. But that could be my old nose. And I'm an old geezer, man. I fart and dust and pee rust, so. But it smells like citrus to me. It's got a tingle, but not a burn. It's soothing. Nice. Nice. The good folks at Bevel. I'll put links to all of this stuff in my uh, the video. Thanks for watching today, guys. Happy Sunday. Unfortunately, it's uh, work week to next week. Monday's coming up very quickly, but that's my Friday off next week, so I only have a four day, four nine hour days. Back to work. God darn, I'm dropping everything. At least the camera hasn't fallen yet. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I'm getting together the stuff for the 13,000 subscriber giveaway. I haven't forgotten. I just want to, the more the merrier, the more I can get into that, uh, that giveaway. All right, guys, until next time, have a great night.